Awo Shalom Rastafari. This is Wendem Yadon. And um, I want to just address briefly right here. Actually, I want to do a, a, a vid, basically healing up. Let's get my notes right here so I can stay on on message more more focused in a more focused way. I wanted to actually just heal up many of I and I brothers and sisters, co-laborers out there in the world, but not of the world because of their co-ministering and laboring. One in particular, firstly and foremost, I want to just speak to the, the I don't even call it controversy. It was just an open rebuke, and it was received. And uh, I see this right here on the Ethiopian World Net, the Facebook, that as we scroll down right here, we find that there's a public apology which was issued um, to the Ethiopian World Net um, from our Wendem, from Wendem uh, Tobia, from our brother, our beloved brother, Tobia. You can see right here we have, he posted, this is from September 10th, uh, 2012, emergency notice aligned to the society members redirecting, you know, and this was part of um, uh, the situation that was going on. And he is I and I, he is, he is I and I brethren. One thing I want to make this very clear, because some might think that because we had an open rebuke to him regarding a matter of a matter of order within our father's house that this was like casting off I and I beloved brother, you know, because he had made uh, uh, an error or mistake in ministry. We all have made errors or mistakes, and the one who makes the biggest error or mistake is the one that does not recognize the error or mistake and receive the apology. Uh, when given concerning what it was. And it says open rebuke is better than secret love. I mean, that should be very, very foundationally clear, that open rebuke, open correction, as I and I say. Um, I kind of paraphrase the phrase right there, that open correction is better than a secret affection because many will say, you know, yes, they love you, and then they'll see you in a certain way and won't say nothing about it. And then later on, they'll say, yeah, I knew about that, but I didn't know, I didn't want to say anything, so forth and so forth. Well, that's all right if you're not born again. You know what I mean? And that's all, and that, it's not all right. It's never all right. You see what I'm saying? But it's understandable if you are not born again, if you have not heard and continue to hear the teaching of His Majesty, the teaching of I and I Father. So that's the first matter. In fact, we already knew that the brethren had, um, you know, basically checked himself in Christ, in the grace, remained in the grace of Christ by even taking down the page. And there were some other brothers and sisters that were like, shut it, you know, shut down, shut down, so forth and so on. And some of y'all, you know, as some of us have done in other times and other um, fleshical states of mind have gone too far, right? And may we be forgiven, right, even as we forgive. So, our brother Tovia, Wendem, the I is still I and I, Wendem, and I and I receive humbly and graciously that um, public apology as, as well as, you know, taking down the page because it was more than just you know, I, I personally, it's I and I, right? It's I and I. And I was thinking that, oh, man, the brother has done such and such. You know, this, I went through the same very thoughts that many of us go through sometimes. But I had to remember first things first. And that's the grace of his majesty. That's who we are, right, and where we stand in the struggle. And therefore, you already know the song, you know the tune, that I and I got so much things to say right now, got so much things to say. So with that, right, and with that, we want to move forward to the, you know, move forward to the real, not the real, but more of the real inner work that we have in our heads and hearts and also to encourage the brothers and sisters out there who are doing the works, and to even encourage this brother, Wendem Tovia, in what 
he is doing because he has helped to spearhead um, much on the media and social network front in the spirit of grace and responded gracefully. You know, some folks will do things and say, this is for you, but actually, you know, they kind of like are doing it for themselves in your name. We are doing this in the name of the King of Kings and his Christ, and it's not just enough to... Um, you know, say it, but to 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 live it, and that's where, as they say, the rubber meets the road, Miss Gunner. That's where the rubber meets the road, right there. So, on this particular point, we we humbly accept and graciously accept and respect, you know, the forgiveness um, or the apology, and say yes, I and I forgive the I in the name of Yeshua to the glory of our Father, Abba Kedus. Kedus, Kedus. Shalom, Rastafari.